Hey you guys, my name is Rui and my name is Sandra and this is our Rui Raptor YouTube channel. 2019 is now over and it was a very rich year in terms of 3D printer releases. Some of those printers we are able to test and review while others are still waiting to be unpacked. We also publish some tutorials along the way, but in this video we want to bring back all the printers tested and reviewed in our channel last year. But before we go through all the printers, don't forget to subscribe our channel and activate the little bell so that you can be notified every time we publish a new video. Also, please help the channel by joining our Patreon page using any of the affiliate links that you can find in the video description below or with PayPal. So, if you want to know more about these printers, check all the links in the video description. So, from the beginning of the year, we have the Sidewinder from Artillery. We tested the first version and it worked great except for the uneven layer issues on all the prints. This printer stands out by the wire system being almost completely from flat cable and the fast yet smooth axis movement. The manufacturer implemented several fixes to eliminate the uneven layer issue and released a few versions since then. We hope we can test the latest soon and see the differences. This new company also had issues with the brand name in some countries, so they came up with the name Evnovo. At the end of 2019, they released a smaller version called Genius. This printer includes several improvement ideas from the bigger Sidewinder, but we still see the artillery name written on the printer. From two trees, we have three printers and one laser engraver. At the beginning of the year, two trees released the Sapphire S a Core XY printer running with a 32-bit large board. A few months later, they released the Sapphire Pro, which is an improved version of the Sapphire S and with many upgrade ideas from the community. The board on this one is also a 32-bit, but it's the MKS Robin Nano. At the end of the year, they released the Bluer, a very nice Cartesian machine, but unfortunately, with some initial issues. The manufacturer quickly implemented modifications and soon we will have more updates on these changes. We also tested their laser engraver and we are planning to test a new model very soon. From Creality, we tested the CR100 and the CP01. The CR100 is a very small printer that was designed for young users and it has the shape of a truck. The CP01, in other hand, is a 3-in-1 tool. By replacing the head and the build plate, the tool becomes a 3D printer, a laser engraver or a CNC engraver. TiVo also had lots of new ideas in 2019. First was the Neros. The Neros is a beautiful printer with a build volume of 320 by 320 by 400 millimeters. Then it was the Tarantula Pro. And the Tarantula Pro is the new version of the old Tarantula that was released a few years ago, but with a much better hardware. As the early Tarantula, the Pro comes completely disassembled. From Rayu, we tested the Falcon S and the TLD3 Pro. The Falcon S is very similar with the well-known Ender 3 from Creality, but it's equipped with a 32-bit board. And the TLD3 Pro is an IDEX machine capable of normal, mirror or clone printing thanks to the dual independent extruders. From the big company Race 3D, they announced the new E2 printer and we were the first ones to publish the video of the unboxing. The E2 is smaller when compared with the other models from Ray's 3D and it's equipped with independent dual extruders. And as usual with all Ray's 3D printers, it has a very good build quality. From Polaroid, we already tested their 3D pens in the past and in 2019 we tested the PlaySmart 3D printer. 
The design, the slicer software and the display menus are very user-friendly and easy to use. The printer, although it's super simple to use, can produce good printing results. We also reviewed the DPX 3D printer from HiHa. This printer stands out by its big linear guide on the x-axis and linear rods on the y-axis. Also on that year, Triangle Lab released their clone version of the Prusa MK3S. This kit includes all the parts to build an almost exact copy of the MK3S except for the main board that we need to buy separately. We published the detailed assembly and also the review video. Hippercy was another new company being born in 2019 and they released the Leo. This 3D printer has many features that are similar with the Prusa printers, but with no 3D printed components. The frame is made from metal profiles and it's equipped with a big touchscreen display and a very nice user interface. Next, we have Easy 3 d This company released what is most probably the smallest 3D printer we have tested so far, the Easy 3 d Nano. Since our review, the manufacturer implemented a few fixes and also released a new model that we will try to review in the future. Last but not least, Kellant. With only resin 3D printers in their portfolio, we made a video of their S400 printer. In that video, we show the detailed assembly and we also inspect all the electronics. We are planning to show all the test prints done with this printer in a future video. Plus, we have many many more printers and tutorial videos for you guys. And that's it you guys, don't forget to subscribe the channel because we will have lots of new and cool videos. Also, if you wish to help the channel, you can with Patreon, with the affiliate links posted in the video description below, or with PayPal. Keep following us also on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. We will see you guys in the next video. Happy 2020! Bye!